Hey everyone, welcome back. So, I want to give a quick update on the car. I haven't done a video in a while. Kind of been slacking there. Really just been working on the car. Uh, so, got back from the last, last drift event and was really wanting to do some angle upgrades. So, got a parts list together and started ordering stuff. I went with E46 lower control arms, new offset rear lower control arm bushings, I also, I, I went with wheel adapters. I went with a, they're inch and a quarter spacers, but they adapt from 5x120 to 5x114s. Uh, new wheels. I modified the knuckles, uh, which gives you a lot more angle. I did four millimeter rack spacers. And new, just E36 inner and outer tie rods. And yeah, let's look what, let's see what that looks like. So here's the new wheels, XXR 530s. I'm digging them. Ordered some tires last night. Sticks out quite a bit, but it really just kind of looks like it sticks out quite a bit because I don't have fender flares. Looking at other pictures, really kind of didn't look like it was sticking out any further than what I've seen. So, I don't know, we'll get the fender flares. Ordered those last night, along with the tires. Uh, I went with four inch fender flares. We'll get those on and uh, see how it looks. I'm also rocking like three or four Eh, probably like three degrees positive camber right now, so I need to dial that out. Put about four degrees, three or four degrees of negative camber in there. Here's the modified knuckles. There we go. I cut it where the ball joint, steering tie rod ball joint mounts up to the spindle. Cut it, shortened it about 25 millimeters, I believe, and uh, took out Ackerman, reduced Ackerman, so I should be at zero right now. I don't really have a way of verifying that, but I did follow some other good instructional videos on how to get it all trued up on each side. So I should be at zero Ackerman, and then my spacing from uh, center of this ball joint to center of the lower control arm ball joint is 100 millimeters on each side. So I think it started out as 125 or 127, somewhere around there was the number I started with. So, so yeah, like I said, took out about uh, 20 or 25, 27 millimeters. Yeah, let's see what that looks like now when I turn. darn decent angle. Hopefully those tires show up later this week, maybe uh, the weekend after, or the week after. But yeah, and like I said, I gotta dial, dial in some negative camber, dial up that positive camber so that, because uh, right now, as you can tell, I got quite some, uh, quite some positive camber there. So, I'll uh, dial in some negative camber so that when I'm at full lock, I'm more at zero 
versus the positive camber that I'm at right now. Anyways, just wanted to give a quick update. Uh, need to do some more videos, but really just been working on the car instead of doing videos. But I figured I'd give an update. So anyways, uh, like, subscribe, comment. If you got questions about, uh, you know, what I did, want to know, yeah, just got some questions, hit me up. Uh, follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Drift at Heart. Other than that, hope you had a good uh, holidays and a happy Thanksgiving. See ya!